All right, so before you pull this out, definitely drain it because it drains out of this hole in the bottom. So the angle that I had it at wasn't enough. And then the two parts side by side, just the old one that was on the transmission, pay special attention to that snout there. And this is the one off the donor transmission. I cleaned it up in the parts washer. Hey. It's just now, so it's a different. Plus, this, this Jeep is nicer. This is uh, George. He's the uh, shop owner for Lively in St. Helens. <clears throat> and we're having a Jeep party tonight. He's mad. Mine's taller with bigger tires. But he's uh, doing a transmission mount on his tonight. Were you doing the arms tonight, too? Uh, no, I gotta get the bushings tomorrow. These are 13s. I think those are 16s or 18s. And then these bushings are all bad. So I think he's doing uppers. And he's gonna replace that bushing there. Oh, that is tatered. And that oh, one man. there. I call that tater salad. Well. And if... She made it here on. in 15 minutes flat. So that's what your factory is gonna look like. I believe these were... Tens. Are these tens or eights? I look like eights. I'm gonna say eight. That sounds like a good one. But you just did upper lower ball joints, uh, that U joint, uh, and hubs. And then I think the next is gonna be the drive shaft U joints, aren't they? Tomorrow he's going down. My wife is doing them. Ooh. Yeah. And then this is your external. Uh, so instead of this being longer like my factory one is for it to slide in. Yours has a snout about that long that it holds on to. <clears throat> and this is a 2001, right? Yep. 2001. Oh he got it with like, how many miles? 103? 103,000. How do you remember that? It's a Jeep thing. <laughs> I remember almost every nut and bolt on that stupid Jeep over there. And then this is that uh, wheel seal that I was talking about. And he said he had these for like a year. Got grease on my finger. Dude, I've never seen axles on a Jeep come out so clean. Like pulling an axle out, there's usually mud. Oh yeah. And all kinds of shit in there. These? Fabulous. <laughs> fucking fabulous, man. I can tell you what's really nice is I'm not fucking rolling back and forth like a fat roly poly <laughs> in my <laughs> rock driveway right now. Well, you already know you're always more than welcome. Oh, upgrade time. Upgrade right here. What? Low pinion, you wanna High opinion. Is that what you're running? Yep. So what's the difference? So an <clears throat> easy way to tell if people don't know is look at your fill plug. See how this is nice and low? It's gonna always be centered with your pinion. So that's your fill uh, oil mark. Uh, axles always want to be leveled with the pinion back here. And if you come over to mine. Well, I, I know what a high pinion is. What is the advantage? <clears throat> See how much taller mine is? Because yes. mine's higher. What's the advantage? So a high pinion gives you more teeth touching the ring gear and gives you a 30% stronger in the front. Now in the rear, because of the nature of how everything works, the rear you want a low pinion for the most strength out of the rear axle. The front you want the high pinion. And then when you're ordering gears for a high pinion, it's actually reverse cut. So it's spinning backwards compared to yours, mm. which won't matter from the transfer case. It matters on the gears inside of it with your ring gear. You know, boys and girls, and that's why you learn new things every day. <laughs> if you didn't learn something today, now you did. That's so what this Jake. is all about. Uncle Jake. Then another thing that he's asking about is how come one wheel doesn't droop as far as the other? And that's because of... One side the uh, track bar his track bar is bottoming out right here because it's not quite as long as mine i think his would be fixed if he did a drop track bar bracket but in order to do that mm -hmm. you'd have to do a extreme drop pitman arm like mine has on it which i have a, a drop pitman <clears throat> i just haven't put it on i think i gave you that one didn't i you did and then I think the next thing Jesus <laughs> Oh they're in there <laughs> You gonna break your bar for that bitch? He was pushing so hard his gut came out of the shirt <laughs> I'm a fat guy too I know it So this has a block 
and the rear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those blocks out and I just gave them the relocation brackets for the back. And so that way he doesn't have to run these stupid blocks and uh, that will help prevent the axle wrap. And then this is the Adelief kit. You can tell because these are aftermarket and there's an extra spring. What's an Adelief? So Adelief takes, say you got four leaves in your pack, you add a fifth one and that fifth one's no, stronger to give you the Adelief lift. is sucker, but this thing was stock like that. No, this had an Adelief probably no, for a two inch. old man, when I got this Jeep, was bone stock, like it came from the showroom. Uh, then it was on there from the factory, which is common. It had to have been factory. Still not factory, it's aftermarket. Because this guy is a like <laughs> super old, old man I got it from. Which is why it's not as rusty as mine. Yeah, and then we got a new Jeep sitting outside. Oh yeah, this is a new one. The new Jeep. I'm going to try to get it off him, but I doubt that's going to work because he realized what a 5.2 is able to do. This is a 96, right? 96 i had a white one that was 95 this one's got like 198,000 on it no, I have you sure these aren't reverse thread, bud? yep they're just in there Fuck, <laughs> do you want me to show you how do you want daddy to come do it Dude, for you i got like a two foot long bar well you're weak oh there it goes dang see you just had to get over the fear of breaking things <laughs> I almost knocked the Jeep off the lift. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, so as soon as that stops draining, which might be a second, uh, I get to put that back together. Then I get to put it back into here, put my drive shafts in, and I still got to cut this. I'm probably going to cut this back here so I could have a slip somewhere on this part. So when I do stuff like this, I can just take this whole chunk of exhaust and kind of roll it out of the way. <clears throat> then I think, don't tell the government, but we're probably gonna get rid of that. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure I could get paid for don't it. Tell who? The government. Uh, <laughs> it's not a street driven Jeep. And I'm open deaf. With 355s, I'm excited. Fuck! Are you still, you know, Jake? Are you still having an issue over there? Oh, fucking goddamn, bro! I'm just glad you're not farting. Ugh. Ugh. Dude, <laughs> I am not a weak motherfucker. <laughs> that motherfucker is in there good and taut. Fuck! <laughs> fucking lock tight. We call that guten tight. It's a German torque. <laughs> uh, I think somebody locked that in that bitch in there from the factory. Probably. I tried telling you to take this cross member out of the way. But no. No. There's plenty of room, man. <laughs> but yeah, I could have took an impact to it. <clears throat> Watch, it's going to give and my knuckle is going to go wide open. <clears throat> and we know that one's not mine because mine's broken on the back end. <laughs> <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ. Bro. I like how I brought my little socket set to the automotive shop and he's using my Carlisle set from Napa. Oh, is that yours? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have a lot of Carlisle shit, actually. Oh, you do? Uh, yeah. I like it. Well, you know, sometimes why pay snap on prices when Napa's right up the fucking road? And actually, I take that back. They're not paying me for this. <laughs> Fuck Carlisle. I hate them. They're kind of expensive. I personally like... They're not bad, though. Uh, I like Quinn from uh, Harbor Freight. It's, yeah. it's not Pittsburgh, so it's not the, the garbage crap yeah. that even China don't want no more. <laughs> Who the fuck needs to go to the gym? Just change a goddamn fucking tranny mount on a fucking Jeep. <laughs> um, and it's not the... Uh, and my wife um, wanted to do this. Oh, that would have been hilarious. She couldn't even open a goddamn jar of pickles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would have been a hilarious. Bra. Oh, you still got one more on this side too to break loose. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, bud. Oh, okay. Okay. Huh. That shouldn't be that hard to fucking get out. No, mine was that the first time I took well, it out. I need to get the extendo ratchet. Uh, I think it's on that tool cart, is isn't it? Yeah. The extendo ratchet. 
That's gonna take hey, you know what, Jake? a long time. Jake. Sup? We about to fuck around and find out, boy. Oh, I think he's getting half inch. <laughs> It looks like a half inch from here. Hey, you know, quit telling people that it's only a half inch. It's cold outside. It's a big boy, man. It's a big boy. It's amazing to see how much little things they change. Like, why did you have to go to this stupid connector where you got to pull this thing out of the way and you could take that off? I was like, iPhones really don't like it going from light to dark. Oh, the fuck are we all right let us know if you've got any questions on jeeps uh i think the next one we're gonna do on this is i think he said that his uh rear main was leaking so we're probably gonna pull that out and because he's got an automatic all this crap's gonna be in the way you know that's how jake pays me back for using the lift he's gonna do my rear mains <laughs> That's a fair trade. I don't care who you are. Dude, I wish I had the time to ever work on my own shit. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. It's only like 11 right now or something. Look at how much easier this is, bro. If I get it to stay in there. That's what she said. Um, That's what she said. Sorry, we're, on, we're immature children. <clears throat> I like the rock lights, too, but those are going to have to come out when you cut the fenders. Well, those are getting replaced anyway. I got strips. That I got from Jesse Angeloff. He gave me a whole box. Is that Angeloff? I thought it was Angeloff. Angeloff, Angel. I don't fucking know. Why are you going to put me on the spot like that? <laughs> Sorry, Jesse. You know, Jesse, the nice guy. How about that? He's the one who, uh, he was my Jeep guy before I got into it. Now he's like, dude, you know more than I do. <laughs> he knows more about the autos than I do. Jesse's Jeep guy? <clears throat> he's always I could have never there. told. Check out Shitbox Wheelers. No, I know he's a Jeep guy. Come on. No, I was telling that to you. Dude. There's too many riffraff on Shitbox Wheelers. You need so, to weed out some people. What do you guys normally do over here? What's your specialties? Everything. I used to send all the European shit to this other shop. You know, but we don't do that no more. But we work on everything. I don't like European shit, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> Just give all those to Robert. But yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> care what you want done. You pay, we fix. Uh, Hell, I'm doing a clutch got... on a tractor next week. Oh, that's going to be fun. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, Bring it, bud. And then you do oil changes here, right? With like three full inspections. Yeah. And I think you said that was only like 30 bucks. Uh, the oil change? Yeah, how much was that? 50 bucks? For most cars that's synthetic 50 bucks for a full synthetic oil change yeah. and a hundred percent walk through front to rear of the vehicle so you know you're in good hands well i don't know about the good hands but you get quality quality <laughs> our hands are all busted up and shit. well you got bear claws you don't have hands this is a hand see that Man. that just got like I probably shouldn't say that one on YouTube, but you guys could probably get the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And, that's like that moment. <laughs> and he's got eight and a quarter in the rear. That's a good upgrade. So we just need to get... That's from factory, too. Yeah, no, this is factory. Factory, bud. Uh, eight and a quarter is, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that came on factory towing Jeeps. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it but, did. But that's aftermarket there. What is your uh, four-way connector, which is funny because uh, you can get a direct plug-and-play, like how my 98 comes from the inside. Yeah. Uh, that's how the fact uh, plug-and-play is. Uh, George here is also a fabricator and a welder, so if you want some custom stuff done, they do amazing work on your old hot rods. Or four-by-fours. We should do it one day where we cover your El Camino. I gotta get that front axle on that bitch. And then he does a lowered stuff. That's his lowered Chevy truck on bags. It's sitting on the frame and it takes a hot second for it to pick itself back up so we could hear it if someone's trying to steal it. And then he took the sway bar off. He figured if Mike clapped out, 
Jeep has, oh, it's still on three. My bad. Mine didn't kill me yet. He should be good because this, this is in way better condition. Don't tell me. Yeah, but you drive it. He got, he got oh, a Oh, you're missing bump stop. Bump yeah. stop. I don't use bump stops. You think the bump stops ever reach? Uh, yes, they do. No, they don't. I stopped scraping the tire on the inside uh, with my 33s when I put those in. When you did what? Uh, when I put these in on mine with the 33s on the old lift, yeah, uh, I could do a full flex on it and that actually stopped before it scraped everything up top. Really? But a, a cheap trick is get some hockey pucks, drill, and just run a bolt through the hockey pucks down here. That gives you your bump stop extension if you actually cared. I don't care. Rubbing's racing where I come from. Well, you know, you know she made it. Pretty clean Jeep. You know, people wonder why this Jeep is always being worked on. So my woman made it. This is a fraction of the work that mine's had. You can't yeah. name a part other than the transmission of mine that's not been replaced. We constantly work it on this fucking thing. I never see it. Every every two years, it gets a complete front end gone through. Fucking all <laughs> U-joints gone through. I'm holding off on the U-joints because I want to do the WJ knuckles. And you, you need see why? <laughs> you see why? Because these motherfuckers felt like it needed 10, all the pounds, <laughs> 10 pounds of fucking light. That's some good shit. That's all the way through, too. Dude, that's some good because Loctite, bud. It's from, as far as it can go through, it's freaking Loctited. These guys ain't fucking around. There we go, focus. Look at that. That's not stripped up top. That's just dirt. But, yeah, no, the entire thing was Loctite. Oh. And you went from a regular ratchet to... A big boy. The biggest one he could find. You know where this came from, actually? Stap on? Big George found it on the side of the road. Oh, really? It's a fucking Matco. Oh, that was a big snap on. If that's like, what? I bet you that's like a $300 ratchet. Probably. He found it sitting on the side of the fucking highway. Probably mm -hmm. fell out of a Le Schwab fucking truck. <laughs> yeah. How much you want to bet? Sounds like, like a, out of a Le Schwab truck. Nobody cares, Le Schwab. Uh, yeah. Avoid the Le Schwabs. They cost too much money. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised you still have this hanger here. What? I'm surprised you still have exhaust hanger. And then I can tell you this is different what style is? than mine too right here for this hanger. All right, that's enough shenanigans. My arm's getting tired holding this stupid phone up. It's never enough shenanigans, boy. <laughs> So let us know if you want to see any particular jobs done. I'm sure this is going to get an entire new front axle. I think I got a high penny in that I could snag up for that. And then uh, that's never done. Oh, that's in the same status on my fucking lowrider. Never well, done. So <laughs> that one I still need to do the long arms in the front. I'm doing a Rusty's three link. Uh, and then I'm going to triangulate the rear and convert that to coil springs instead of leaf springs. Uh, the drive shaft, the front knuckles, and the KJ rear brakes is what that's going to end up getting. Yeah. All right. I was trying to show them the whole process of this, but it's taking you for freaking ever. We're at 17, well, 18 just minutes. do what they do on YouTube and forward through it when you go to post it. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> well, and if somebody that watches this fucker's videos knows how to edit videos and would like to help him out... <laughs> So real quick before you end this, remember this is George Lively Repair in St. Helens, Oregon. If you're close by or feel like driving down here and having someone reliable and honest work on your stuff. What's your address here? 1270 Columbia Boulevard. And uh, or if you just want to go wheeling with us one day, <laughs> we'll take you out in a red clay. And then uh, what's your phone number? Uh, 503... Three five eight two one four five. And, uh, and if you're Indian calling us about fucking goddamn car warranties, don't do it, my friend. Or don't I should title call that, me. How to avoid car warranty scams. Or don't <laughs> call me, my friend. Hashtag clickbait. Fucking Indians love me. <laughs> they call here just to have conversations with me now. <laughs> fucking love it. I've seen it. Oh, dude. Oh, by the way, what? change your voicemail. That shit got me. Oh, really? Because you're always screwing around on phones. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> This is called Paul Patel. All right, for the fifth time in a row. Oh, is she going to come out of Have a good night. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
Let us know what else you want to see on these Cherokees. Or a Dodge Neon. I, I think I'm still working on that. I might do a clutch on the Neon eventually. Fuck out of here. And then we got the Grand Cherokee. I think he's actually going to keep that one for a bit, and we'll do a lift on that. Oh, here's the wife. <laughs> <laughs> right in the corner.